Very extended kind of raid here at uh, the Occupy Honolulu. Uh, officially uh, a seizure attempt raid because they came on a tagging raid. The tents were swapped out. Uh, in other words, yesterday's blue tents, as you can see, are not here. They're on private property. And here are red tents which were on private property that are now here. Circumventing um, Ordinance 11 029, which was officially for stored property, uh, but actually, like a number of other ordinances uh, throughout the U.S., uh, which was to criminalize homelessness and to big truck behind me, criminalize homelessness and prevent the proliferation of uh, Occupy type movements that were coming up around then. Now, the first Occupy Wall Street started on September 17th. The first meetings Yeah, no discussions are allowed. That's quite right. I had a citizen walk up and question the police on this. a tremendous number of uh, amount of heavy equipment in the park. Uh, they should have known that nothing is legally subject to seizure here. This is day 276 of continuous encampment by Deoccupy Honolulu. If you're tuning in from somewhere, it is truly Deoccupy Honolulu, even though it is affiliated with the Occupy Wall Street movement. It's called the Occupy because uh, Hawaii is already occupied, illegally occupied, subject of an illegal military occupation. So it was named the Occupy in solidarity with the uh, Native Hawaiians and indigenous people everywhere. You can check the statement up at deoccupyhonolulu.org. This is uh, Ken uh, Shimizu walking for us, Deputy Director of the um, Department of Facilities Maintenance, which is uh, responsible for these raids, oddly enough. Very uh, peculiar, seemingly. Uh, this is department that is supposed to do things like fix potholes and that sort of thing. The other leader is uh, Trish Morikawa, who is the Office of Housing, which is supposed to help uh, houseless people and not take houseless people stuff. So Ken didn't want to take the tape down, so he had someone else take the tape down, but of course he is already ID'd. Uh, looks like they are not taking the, uh, I'll let you get a good look at these, uh, tags. Removal notice, it says, the date, red, gray, and bark tent, number one ever. Impounded property will be stored. No one gets impounded property back once they take it because you need, um, credit card receipts and even then it's impossible to get it back and there's the ordinance number 
very illegible uh, So you can see all these have uh, tags on it. Nothing seized. Walking over to the I think it was much ado about nothing. I think uh, they have to look like they're doing something with the uh, mayoral elections coming up. This was a gigantic waste of, of time. There was, it seems to be, uh, looks like there's media up there. That's why there was a big deal. This was a media event. That's why it took so long. Here's the uh, management team leaving. This is Jake Rusin, a bullhorn specialist, really. If I felt I could be heard in the typical fashion, I would not be here on the sidewalk. Here's the sidewalk. I'm going to have you take a look here at all the stuff. This was a media event, which is why it took so much longer than usual and why there was so much of a show of force, even though there was nothing to take. Uh, nothing for these huge dump trucks uh, to take. This is what's being used against the houseless. And peaceful pro political protesters. People are leaving now because there's nothing to seize, but I'm walking here to give you an idea of the extent of the. Uh, there's a garbage truck uh, leaving. Um, and this is usually filled up with whatever they can throw in there. They usually go to the houseless encampment next door on Victoria Street. We're kind of on the Victoria Street side. I've seen them take... Uh, I've seen them take... And I have much video of them taking uh, clothing, dwelling, food, you know. Houseless people go to work, they have to leave their stuff somewhere. And that's when it gets mad, when they're off at work. Including food that's in a cooler, uh, that has uh, ice in it. The houseless people are... Uh, among the houseless people are some of the most organized people uh, that I've seen living inside a city. They... Uh, are also really good recyclers of stuff and all that's taken away. I've seen suitcases full of neatly uh, folded clothes, children's toys and that sort of thing. You can see this backhoe that is often used. I'm gonna... As we uh, saw there was a um, show of force because it was a media event. Media guys, see, they don't have portable stuff, so they can't get really on top of things. You can see here a uh, backhoe. I'll just stay here as we get a look of, at uh, what's coming out here. We're at Thomas Square, if you're just joining us, where there was a uh, very ineffectual seizure attempt on Deoxify Honolulu. Uh, it was a media event, which is why they brought so much equipment here, as we're seeing now. Empty trucks. They call
call the media. I don't know why. They, they should have known there was nothing eligible for seizure. This is a taxpayer's dollars at work. Easy gig today. Now here's the truck with the crane and some garbage bins in it. Most of the stuff is supposed to go into these bins because these are the bins that get um, stored, taken to storage, and you can see they're actually borrowed from the roads department. Um, and then they're taken up to a depot where people, where it's kept for 30 days, um, subject to uh, people claiming them. On the other hand, you know, if your tent gets taken and it's lucky enough not to end up in the garbage and goes into a storage bin, you need a credit card receipt in order to. Uh, fetch the tent and even folded tents are not allowed on the bus so you're going to have to find somebody to drive you make an appointment, drive there still have a police presence even after most of the hardware's hard, uh, the um, heavy equipment's gone so. I'm going to see what the deal is here. Pretty large gathering. Of oh, I know this photographer dude. I'm going to go talk to him. Hey, how's it? <laughs> this is a media event. I was wondering why they had so much heavy equipment here. Did they, they tip you guys off? They must no, have. Because really. uh, they came on a tagging raid yesterday. They had blue tents, huh? So they just swapped the tents out. They got a spy cam on us, and the police should know there's nothing here they could see. And then they brought, I saw all the heavy equipment, I thought, man, they're going to try something, but... Huh? They did it. Swapped it, yeah, because it had blue yesterday. So last night they put red ones out, not subject to seizure, not tagged on private property. So the blue ones on private property now, and then we take these down, put the blue ones back up. Oh, oh that's, that's yeah. what happened. That's it, Okay, I was wondering. Oh, no, they're red color. Uh, you know, <laughs> Swap them color. out. That's why, it's, it, you know, they can only take stuff that's been stored 24 hours after they tag them. You take them to private property. They're not supposed to be eligible for seizure. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, I guess you make, like, now they have to make another law, I guess. So. You know? <laughs> they just have to outlaw, deoccupy, yeah. and, like, that's illegal. <laughs> oh, did they say you can't use a bullhorn in the yeah. in park? Got ticket for it. You got a ticket for it? Yeah, they just gave me a ticket for it. Jake, the... Using a bullhorn inside the park, right. Oops. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. Uh, no, being in the park with a bullhorn. You roll the paper? Yeah. Let's see. It's yelling through the paper. Why are you Why are you hiding us? 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 Why are you h
Okay, I have to apologize to the viewers that I wasn't on the social chat or tweet too much. I was like, again, okay, I got another camera here, right? And I was like, taking pictures and stuff. Okay, my camera is kind of frozen. At some point, my camera froze. Okay, well that's it folks. Uh, it was a planned media event to try and get uh, Mayor Carlisle some votes by showing how bulldozerish she was against the occupying, as you can see. The camp is still here as it has been for the last 276 days consecutively in one place the world record for a continuous encampment of the Occupy movement so. and they do they damage the property by using two staples now yours has four They're getting psycho with the staples and they're putting it on the seam to make it break stuff up. This is destruction of public property. This is destruction of public property. Definitely destruction. See all of the tents have tags. These embarks, uh, if you're watching and want to uh, donate uh, these embark tents are $37 at Target and they're pretty good I mean for the price you know um, I gotta find out where the where they get the blue tents it's always good to have matching tents if you're gonna donate uh, do it with a credit card buy stuff with a credit card so if this stuff gets impounded you can get the property back maybe I've actually managed to get nine tents back at Billy. Uh, actually, they weren't the ones I was trying to get returned. They gave me nine tents, and I thought, well, okay. So, from historic Thomas Square, site of the restoration of sovereignty to the Hawaiian nation in 1843, the Hoi Hoi Ea, I'm signing off. The park is now clear of police, clear of heavy equipment, except uh, this one city crew here who is actually who are actually doing some work. They have uh, cleaned the area next to the fountain and done that kind of maintenance. They've been here for a couple hours, done a really outstandingly good job. I should have taken before and after shots. These guys actually work. The other guys that came didn't have much work. Uh, it's a waste of taxpayers' money, but I can't blame them. Anyway, 